Welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is FAQ number 4. Sorry guys, I had to postpone this video for today because I had lots of just stuff to do, limited time for patches, and let's go straight into the questions. So first question from Bart GTK, hi Juka, thank you for the kind words. Question, have you tried any neural DSP products or are, I, or are you using any of them? What's your impressions about all the hype of neural plugins and the actual quality of them? Cheers! Well, Neural DSP is probably one of the most advanced uh, plugin manufacturers right now for guitar amps. I'm not saying that other brands don't do it as good as. For example, I'm going to give you an example of Nimbrini Audio, which has some great amps emulations, as well as Waves and other stuff like BIOS FX Desktop and, um, and Amplitube as well. Great amps, great collection, great rigs. But uh, Nero DSP, there's a certain hype because um, they just sound good straight out of the box, uh, sort of speaking, right? Um, when I, whenever I play my guitar straight into my Apollo, and I'm using, I have them all basically, uh, except for one or two, okay? Uh, going to the, the Pliny or the Petrucci, it just sounds good, man. I, uh, I don't know what they do. Uh, I don't have the, necess the need for using external IRs or stuff like that. The caps they are providing are top notch and uh, the, the presets, the built-in presets are already like mixed and ready to go, you know, you just press record and there you have it, you have a great tone. You don't have to dial too much knobs and to get a great tone and they offer all these kind of possibilities to change in between different cabs and different, and different amps, like you can have a clean amp and then the rest of the, uh, of the stuff for, for other amps, mix and match, stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they, they sound great, I, I can't deny that. But uh, there's one problem. The hype is the fact that, for me, despite all being great plugins, they are all very similar, very alike, and you can get pretty much all, all of them. They kind of feel and sound the same. Even the John Petrucci one, when you start up dialing high gain tones on the Pliny and stuff like that, all the reverbs sound the same excellent reverbs i haven't used i even used uh, some of those reverbs for vocals uh, on an aux track putting a neural dsp plugin and bypassing everything but the reverb or the delay which are great great effects but they sound the same uh, from plugin to plugin you don't see much of a difference between the delays and reverbs and chords and stuff like that and even the overdrives and the amp so basically you have uh, I don't know, if you have the John Petrucci plugin, you have them all. For me, uh, you have everything you need. You don't have to buy uh, other plugins, uh, other variations of the Neural DSP, in my opinion. Now, this may, may vary uh, amongst you guys, but for me, that's the way it is. So, great plugins, yeah, but just buy one. Don't, don't get too much into buying everything, because they all basically sound the same. And that's it. Thanks for your question. Guess of, let's go for the next one. From Miguel Olivan. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome. What do you think about Nux? Have you tried? I'm considering MG300 or MP2 to have a portable amp and effects. Is there another alternative to the same price point? Thanks again. Well, another alternative to the same price point, I think there's not. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't tried yet the MG because um, I've been in contact with uh, Nux. And they have sent me their fire fireman i think it's the way they call it which is basically a replica of the the freedman bod deluxe that i have here and i have to say that for the price the pedal is great sounds superb uh a bit different for, from the freedman but they all they all can they can stand together you know uh, they're, they're different pedals if if their idea was trying to emulate they get their own tone and it sounds fantastic. Uh, I really recommend it if, if, if you want a great distortion pedal with two channels. 
uh, the Friedman being will has more features, but it's much more expensive. Now, for the price of the MG300, I think there's not nothing in the market that can beat it. Uh, but I'm yet to receive one from them, uh, so I'm in conversation because I really want to try it uh, for you guys. If you guys want me to try that and possibly start making patches for the also for the the Nux, just drop me a comment below and I'll see what I can do about that. Thanks for your question. Let's go for the next one. Now, that for Kitty. Thanks for considering my question regarding stereo setups. Since you've mentioned some special settings for combining MK1 and MK2 and MK1, I would like to know more about it. The way I plan is simple. Well, there's a lot of options here that I can see. Uh, and my question to you is, do you use all of these options or are they just options for, for, for getting the stereo effect? Because I really didn't understand uh, if there's a simple way. Well, um, yeah, when you record, I, w I went in some searching because I've done this in the past, uh, right, right when I received the MK2, but I didn't have it, I haven't done it uh, since then. So, first thing I did was to just uh, one, one uh, TRS cable jack, but with two stripes, you know, uh, not your regular guitar jack, from the X-Pen on the MK2 into the, um, into the MK1 return. So it kind of acts like, like a, a slave, not totally, but you get the stereo effects, okay? There's advantage and disadvantages. This is one way to do it. The other way I went here, and I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna show you some pictures that I went online to search because I really couldn't remember. Uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. So here is the line out uh, from the amp, line out cable going to the MK1 amp. This is from the MK2, as you can see here. And the stereo expand must, must be on. So this is a simple way to do it. Then we have on the Katana MK1 setup line out that came from the, um, the MK2 into the um, effect loop return. Okay, this is one way to do it. Then in Boston Studio, you have to set the effects loop on and post reverb. This is very important, okay? There's a picture that shows you that. Uh, just a quick note, I, I, I said one thing that it's not correct before. Uh, it's not a TRS cable, T TRS cable with two pins, with two stripes, just one regular jack. I was thinking about the expression pedal, I'm sorry guys, but uh, it's just one regular jack that comes from the MK2 to, to for the MK1, okay? So let's see this next picture. Now here he says, in this configuration, you would connect the line out or master amp to return of slave, um, assuming the slave is MK1. Now, this is where you have two options. Run the two amps uh, in the master slave configuration enabled by holding, control, holding channel three and channel four buttons down to slave while powering it on. This is on the MK1, so it becomes a slave. Where the slave sounds like the master, but with the pos possibility for stereo, for some stereo effects uh, like um, CBTS for MK2, like, like stereo delay, stuff like that. The slave does not use any of its internal effects. Now, if you don't, don't do that, run the amps without master slave configuration, in this case, uh, any additional effects on the slave may be applied to the sound of, of the master. Basically it means if you press those, those two buttons on the, on the MK2, on the MK1, which is a slave, uh, you have, uh, everything is, is mimicked on the other amp. So you have stereo effects, of course. But if you don't do that, and I think it's kind of cool, because if you don't do that, you can also add effects from, from the, the MK1. So making a slave, it's very simple by pressing those two channel buttons at the same time while powering the um, MK1. I hope this answers your question a little bit confusing, but uh, I hope it's, it's, it's easy for you. Uh, thanks for your question. Let's go for the next one. Anthony Saiwaya, I hope I'm pronouncing your name well. Please do more Gary Moore, the loner tone for MK2. It's a tough. It's so tough to achieve. Well, uh, yeah, it's not it's not very tough, tough, but it is a little bit. Uh, so I did I have a Gary Moore pack that I put here some somewhere on the screen, uh, both for the GT1000 and MK1 and MK2. But that patch it's only available for now for the GT1000. So I'll need to do it. Yeah, I'll do it in the near future and add it to the pack. And if you have already bought the pack, you have just to re-download it into your account. So stay tuned and subscribe to my mailing list because I re usually announce this stuff via um, my mailing list, my subscribers, and they just have to um, re-download the pack and the tone is free in case you have bought the Gary Moore pack. So stay tuned. Thanks. Next question from Nick Last Name. Nick Last Name. Another question. What 
uh, what do you do as your main job? Your your room like your room looks like a studio. Do you have do you do professional audio work? Yes. Yes, uh, I do professional audio work uh, for uh, lots of no lot not lot but a few clients that I have 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 had here in my studio recording rap songs. Uh, you know, um, not necessarily metal uh, rock songs as well, but. That has passed. So basically, right now I do this for a living for about like uh, four years now since I've been creating patches for the katana, and uh, this is my only job, full-time job. Unfortunately, here the jobs in uh, in Portugal, especially in the city where I live, it's very small, and uh, you have basically no chance of getting a job. I am a teacher, a uh, music teacher, but even so, it's very difficult uh, to get a place and. Um, So I decided to, to go into this path because uh, although I'm self-taught, even uh, even in mixing um, stuff and uh, mixing my my songs and other people's song, I decided to take this this uh, this path and um, and do it full time. You know, uh, like making videos for YouTube. Although I don't have too many, I don't have many many subscribers, but I'll continue to do this until I can and hope for the best. You know. Regarding my my main job is basically spend all day uh, listening to people's feedback and comments on my on, on my Facebook page group especially about tones they are seeking for and then I'll put them on my to-do list receiving emails customer support from my site which is every day uh, which is kind of cool it's very it's very good um, and uh, so usually I take the morning to go and answer all those questions. Uh, from the customer support when people need help for some some specific thing, specific patch, I don't know. Um, and then in the afternoon, uh, I start creating the patches based on the tones that are requested. Uh, sometimes it takes uh, one day, sometimes it takes a full week, depends on the patch, depends on the guitarist, because I do have to learn the songs and I do my best to learn them. But you know, uh, we fail, which is pretty normal. I know some guys can learn everything. I can, uh, like in the Good Three Govan patch, uh, I was, I don't know, 20 takes or more to get that thing straight because uh, the pressure of the rack on in the camera is is very high, and uh, at least for me. And then whenever I press rack, I know that I will fail in lots of things. Even my speak in English will have some minor bugs. Uh, and stuff like that, like ah, uh, you know, I'm not totally, um, uh, you know what I mean. But that's it. And then uh, during the afternoon, I start uh, putting everything together, listening to the soundtrack, to the soundtrack, to the to the music that people want me to reproduce, the artist, listen over and over and over again. Then I import it into Logic or Pro Tools, to see if I can grab a little bit of part of the guitar. Or I search online for an isolated guitar for that specifically track, specific track, uh, and then I see the EQ how it moves. Uh, that when that is done, I grab the guitar that is more suited for the job. Uh, you know, if he uses a Telecaster, I'm going to use a Telecaster and stuff like that, and then start tying all the knobs and parametric EQ and stuff like that until it's uh, the most close possible to the tone. Of course, there's a lot of variables. I'm not going to that uh, again because we've spoken too much about that. But um, one of the things is uh, micing the amp. I have my like my sweet spot over there with a microphone with some duct tape, uh, the Sennheiser E906, and the sound that I hear here sometimes is it's uh, fabulous and it's spot dead on. But the microphone won't capture that as I want, and I move around the microphone and stuff like that to waste a little bit of time. But it's very difficult to get the great results because miking an amp is kind of an art, you know? You have to really experiment and test different microphones and see what it's best for your room. So it's not quite perfect. It's not never quite perfect when I go into the, the mixing stage, mixing by recording double tracking guitar and stuff like that for a certain artist. Uh, but, um, you know, I'll do my best to get, uh, to try to mimic the, the sound that I have here in my room. Um, and yeah, it's my full-time job. It's what I do every single day, no matter if it's uh, weekends or stuff like that. Today is actually Saturday. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm doing this for you guys that are watching now on Monday. And uh, tomorrow I'll do more. And it's one thing that I have to mention just to 
to shut up myself. It's I love my job. I love what I'm doing. I love the feedback that I get. Uh, not all feedback is great, of course. I understand it, um, and I love when people help me to to make things better. So yeah, this is my full time job. Period. I don't I don't do I don't have anything else uh, to do. <laughs> but I love what I do. Thanks for your question. It's a great question. Let's go for the next one. David Bros. Juka, can you explain the use of the expression pedal on the katana? I'm sure. On how I'm not sure. I'm not sure on how to set it up and write it to save. Cheers. Yeah, it's it's very. I'm gonna put some pictures here and and try to explain it better with pictures. Let's check them out. This is a place you have to connect your expression pedal where it sits, where it says foot control on your katana, right? So the pedal that I recommend for you is this one, the Boss EV30, because it's a really nice pedal. It costs costs around 100 bucks, uh, at least 100 euros, and it's uh, in metal casing, so it's very good. In this case, you, yes, you only need a TRS cable jack, if I'm not saying that's the name, which have two um, rings at the tip, uh, unlike the normal guitar jack, so you can connect it. Let's check other picture. Now, automatically, when we engage, uh, when we, you, you connect your pedal, it becomes like a, a volume pedal, a master volume pedal. And there's a few videos on YouTube by the Guitar Geek and other guys explaining exactly what it does. So I recommend you to watch those videos because it's very simple. Uh, then, uh, you don't want it as a master pedal, you have to come into here where you have the assignment buttons, um, the, part, the part of the assignments in Boston Studio, and you have here knobs, expression pedal, and on the right, uh, GFC uh, expression pedal. If you're not using uh, the GAFC expression, uh, expression pedal or control foot switch, uh, all you have to do is come here into where it says function and choose what you want it to do. I don't have my katana connected right now, but you can choose whatever you want it to do, like reverb, delay and stuff like that, uh, because all the presets are here on the left uh, of this of this um, picture, like booster, uh, delay, reverb and chorus, stuff like that. I hope you can see it because I'm not screen recording my, my, my screen. Uh, but you can also connect it to your GA FC expression pedal. On the, on the picture you go into this one and do the same thing. So basically it's very easy to connect expression pedal. You just need to go into the assignments uh, tab, which is kind of confusing at first glance it is, and, uh, and seek what you want to do, because it's everything there listed. If you want to use it at a booster, you can use it for everything, like the decay of the delay, reverb, like the the amount of the, the, the speed of the delay, uh, rotary, anything that you want. There are two ways to connect it, of course. You can connect it straight into your amp um, with the, that TRS cable, don't forget it's very important, and then it becomes automatically a master volume and you'll have to change it there where it says um, assignments and pedal. You can automatically put it in a cry, uh, in a wah, and I think for me, at least if I, I don't have one here now, I used to have one, for me, it's just for wah pedal, so I don't, I don't go into other effects. I don't need, I don't have the, the, necess the necessity to control other effects like time, reverb time and stuff like that. So I'll just do it as a wah pedal. In that case, you go into a control pedal and you choose your wah. There are two wahs, if I'm not mistaken, and it becomes a wah pedal automatically in the assignment tabs as well. You have to choose that, like I show you on the picture. So I'm not screen recording my screen but it's very easy. If you have the GAFC, you connect it to the GAFC. It's simple as that. It doesn't have... If you didn't understand, please contact me <laughs> and uh, I'll explain you better. Thanks for your question and let's go for the next one. And finally, from Bishoy Mikai. Love all your sound and patches you make. Thank you very much, Bishoy. Can you please make a demo how to achieve the sound through the katana? Also, how to optimize the line, how to record the sound and compare that compares to the one we get through the mic in the katana. Uh, this is regarding a video I've made about uh, improving your recorded guitar tone. Uh, I think it's my previous video. And um, yeah, uh, the rec out will never be the same thing as uh, recording with a, with a microphone, you know. But uh, yeah, you can totally do it. But you'll have to have some skills in post-processing uh, with EQs and stuff like that. Uh, so you can match. Uh, more or less the tone that you hear that you're actually here in your room uh, Rec out is much better than um, USB USB although it's a, a weak signal is not very good in translating what you're hearing uh, If you can please use a microphone 
uh, after the fact, if you, need, if you can use a microphone and if you're interested in a tutorial from the rec out to improve your tone, don't forget this is not for patches uh, that I'm doing, this is for your own recording. Uh, I can totally help you out to make a video about that. If, if you guys want me to make a video, uh, you know, on different sources, like uh, recording with a microphone and improve the tone, recording with a rec out and improve the tone, and then also recording, I can do this uh, all three at the same time, USB and improve the tone. There will be a lot of um, differences between them because the microphone will be the more faithful and uh, less to, to uh, the one effect that to, the one signal that you have to, to you know, to, to change too much. The others you will have to do that. And I'll, and I'll be using just stock plugins uh, in Logic. Um, it doesn't matter the DAW you have, they're all the same, uh, Studio One, Reaper or whatever. You just have to mimic what I'm doing here and it's, and it's done. You got it right? I'm not going to use third-party plugins because many of, you, many of you don't have them. So yeah, I can do that. If, so, so yeah, if you guys, if something that you're interested in, I can do that uh, for you guys. And, um, and I think that's the last question. I think it's, it's uh, oh my God. I went out last night with my friend, so I'm not totally in shape yet, you know. Uh, also, if you want to support the channel, head on to um, I put, a, put a link on the description of the video. This video is getting too long already. And grab one of these, or a t-shirt or something like this. You, you're totally supporting the channel. And subscribe, it. also it supports a lot. Um, and during these times, if you guys are in the, those areas uh, where this shitty situation is happening, uh, please be safe and I wish you all the best. Uh, the world is a mad place, in fact. So, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one. It will be on Friday, scheduled, scheduled as usual. This one was, was postponed, but that's, that's the way it is. That's what she said. Cheers, guys.